NFL season kicking off tonight. The Giants hosting the Dallas Cowboys. Guys, I've got to tell you about this particular game. Late last week, I was in love with the Dallas Cowboys. Two days ago, I started thinking, maybe the Giants are the play. When that happens, I never bet the game. That's the pure and simple truth. Because the last thing you need for me is to be wishy-washy. And I think handicappers and gamblers that are wishy-washy, indecisive, they're bound to lose money. And the bottom line is, I've been rolling in baseball. I've got a huge play in baseball tonight, and that's where I'm going to make my money. But I'm going to break down the game for you and give you my thoughts, my insight, and tell you why I kind of vacillated and went back and forth on this one. Plus, tell you who's hot and who's not. And, guys, not only do I have that huge baseball play tonight, and FYI, Oh, it's something you definitely want to consider, guys, because uh, it's a top-rated 15-dime play. As a matter of fact, my 15-dime baseball winner, number 7 in a row. It's my run line winner, number 11 out of 12. It's my baseball winner, number 11 out of 12. And it's winning day, 21 out of 28. Why are all these things important, other than the fact you want to hear me go crunch some more numbers? Because it also happens to be the $5 play of the week promotion. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here. This, of course, is going to be your Wednesday video report. Uh, the backdrop you can see currently in the studio where Steve Boone and I are getting ready to start here in a minute uh, after I record this video doing our weekly NFL preview show, which you can catch here on the websites every Friday night through Sunday afternoon. I'll tell you more about that if you happen to be a newcomer to the site as the week progresses. But it's where we basically go over every single game from a uh, ATS perspective and break it down for you. The only show that does it for you nationwide and no, uh, hey, uh, three ring, uh, three card Monty, you know, where you have three monkeys at the table. They're all pitching their 800 services. Monkey number one says, I kind of like this side. Monkey number three says, I kind of like this side. And monkey in the middle, he says, oh, it's my game of the year, my inside info game of the year. Call me. It's absolutely for eight none of that crap guys i don't play those games neither does steve what you see as i told you yesterday is what you get here at the site let's talk about some red hot handicappers jeff benton i mentioned yesterday had his second biggest play of the entire baseball season how easy were the uh, la angels 6-1 winning on the road well now it's back to football where tonight he kicks it off with his 59 opening nine game of the year winner number eight out of ten your cowboys Giants side let me put this in perspective for you he's already two and oh with 30 dimes college football releases right he cashed in with colorado state a six-point underdog winning outright 22 17 over colorado and he scored as well with georgia tech a seven and a half point road dog nearly pulling the outright upset in overtime at virginia tech a couple of nights ago this play is almost two times stronger opening night game of the year he's won it eight of the past 10 seasons and again it's a 50 dime release from jeff benton Craig Davis, those 50-dime plays have been money in the bank for months now. He has a 50-dime side selection tonight. The importance here, it's 50-dime winner number 16 out of 21, including 12 out of 15. And remember, he's already a perfect 2-0 with 50-dime releases in college football. I know, FYI, uh, those winners won by 24 points, BYU over Washington State last Thursday. The other one on Saturday, Ohio State by 46 points over Miami of Ohio. This play just as strong. Now, you know I've talked about Craig Davis in the past. Craig's big thing, former president and CEO of FantasyFootball.com. This guy, you've probably heard him on the radio. He has been one of the most consistent football handicappers at the site over the past few years. Hell, last year, if you followed his NFL advice, not only did he cap the season with his fourth straight Super Bowl winner, but 10 dollar players made six thousand seven hundred and forty dollars you want to talk about long-term profits don't ignore chris jordan guys tonight he's got his 200 star nfl winner number 10 out of 11 excuse me eight out of 11 he's going the teaser route it's his football teaser winner uh, number 15 out of 21 Teaser winner 15 out of 21. NFL winner number 8 out of 11. Conventional 6.2 team teaser. $1 meter, betters in NFL action last year made $5,170. They have made $12,325 in NFL regular season play going back to 2007. This from the guy who's the number one overall winningest handicapper at the site. Number one baseball handicapper at the site. A lot of number ones. So there you want to check out him as well. Now, as for me, guys, I told you earlier, I'm going to be the $5 play of the week 
selection this week. And I've got some big shoes to fill because Matt Rivers has cashed in three straight weeks with your $5 play. This is something for those of you that are coming back to football season I started doing, oh, maybe about six months ago. Um, and it gives so many of you out there that are hooked into packages. And FYI, 80 to 85% of you out there are long-term committed package players. It gives you the chance to sample other handicappers for five little dollars. Now, if you got my baseball play, and I'm not going to give you all the stats again, you know how hot I am. If you bought it, it would cost you $65. Instead, guys, you can get it tonight for just $5 if you use this coupon code. And that code is going to be, ready, AL60. AL60, AL60, no space between the name and the number, AL60. Those of you that are newcomers to the site, never made a purchase before, it'll take you 60 seconds to do this, guys. You create an account. You go to my homepage, hit the buy now button, puts a play in your shopping cart for $65. You use that coupon code I just gave you, AL65, AL60, takes $60 off, leaves you with a net of five little dollars, and you get my latest baseball selection as we look to hit the $5 play of the week promotion for the fourth straight week and the sixth time in seven weeks. Now, as for tonight's game, guys, you know, the line sitting there, three and a half, four points, depending on where you're shopping. Hell, if you got three and a half or four, I'm buying down the half point no matter what. If I'm on the favorite or I'm buying up if I happen to be on the dog. That's the way. I roll with three, four points there. I believe they're the key numbers that you're always buying the half point, sometimes seven, sometimes ten as well. Rematch of last year's regular season finale, a game that the Giants had to win in order to make the playoffs. And when they did, uh, just beating up an injury-riddled uh, Dallas club at the time. And, of course, you know what the Giants did. They beat that little team from New England in the Super Bowl a few weeks later. Uh, the defense had six sacks in that contest. Uh, Eli Manning, 364 yards passing, three touchdowns in the contest. Uh, the Giants, and this is the scary part about the Giants, the Giants actually got stronger in the ground game because they got rid of Brandon Jacobs, let him depart via free agency. They drafted uh, David Wilson out of Virginia Tech. This is a guy that can catch the ball out of the backfield as well. Remember last year, early in the season, first meeting, Giants rallied for the 37-34 win at uh, New York. I had figured originally, hey, this was a revenge spot for Dallas. But Dallas rebuilt secondary. Remember, went out and got two brand new cornerbacks. Signed uh, Carr, Brandon Carr from for, as, free, as free agent. Also drafted Morris Claiborne out of uh, LSU because their pass defense the past two years has been second and third worst in the NFL. Um, they haven't been able to get a pass rush at all on Eli Manning in recent meetings. Meanwhile, the Giants have just pummeled, I mean absolutely pummeled, Tony Romo. And the Giants have also won five of the last six in the series. And in those six games, Eli Manning has been unstoppable, averaging 333 yards a game and two and a half touchdowns a game as well. Hell, in last year's two games, he threw for over 740 yards and five touchdowns and just one interception despite putting the ball up nonstop. So as I told you, early in last week, I thought Dallas was to play tonight. But then when you consider Jay Witten is doubtful, when you consider Jay Rat Ratliff, uh, or Jason Witten is doubtful, and Jay Ratliff, their uh, four-time Pro Bowl nose tackle, is out for the contest, and you go to that secondary, I think maybe the Giants are the play. And that's the key word, though, here in that sentence is the word think, and that's why I'm not betting it. So I think the Giants might be the play tonight, but you won't find me putting my money on it. For your free play, however, I'm going to go with the San Francisco Giants uh, at home. Surprisingly, I don't have to play the Giants on the run line. I only have to lay 145 or 150 with Madison Bumgarner going. Uh, listen, he's lost his last two starts, worked 10 innings in those outings, gave up 13 hits, 9 runs, 8 of them earned. But keep in mind, prior 8 starts, he had a 1.93 earned run average and 12 home starts this season, 2.15 earned run average. The Giants have won 9 of those 12 starts. Trevor Cahill going for the hour Arizona Diamondbacks 0-2 this year and two starts against the Giants with a ERA over six. Um, and I'm looking for uh, the Giants to rebound after losing 8-6 last night, having won 9-8 in Monday's opener. So the Giants are your freebie. That'll do it, guys. Best of luck to you all. And I'll catch you again then on Thursday when we do it all again with college football on tap.